We are back at 7-Eleven right now, and today is World Pilots Day. New this morning, the Blonde Bombers and Flight Co. are teaming up to give special tours of the Flight Co. Tower. This is all to raise money for the Blonde Bombers Air Race Classic. And joining us this morning is Blonde Bomber pilots Elena Bravo and Amanda Wilson. Good morning to you. Good morning. I was, I was, I'm fascinated hearing the history. Both of you, since you were little girls, have been flying. Yes. Yeah, yes. We both have. Yes, with our fathers. I was about yeah. to say, your dad's got you into it. Yep. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, so um, I started flying with my dad when I was really little. You know, I ended up getting my private pilot certificate in the summer of uh, 2021 and uh, been working on additional ratings since. Mm -hmm. What about you? I started flying when I was uh, back, back in 2014. I got my private pilot license in 2016 and, and have been flying since then. Got my instrument rating after that in 21. That is awesome. Okay, so now you're part of a group called the Blonde Bombers. Mm -hmm. Elena, tell me a little bit about that. So the Blonde Bombers is actually a female air racing team. It's Amanda and myself. Uh, and we are um, flying in this year's uh, Air Race Classic, which is an all women's air race. Uh, the air race is, uh, it has roots that date back to 1929. And some of the earliest women pioneers in aviation flew in this race. Everybody will recognize Amelia Earhart's name. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, and so this year's race actually spans uh, 2,300 nautical miles. We'll be going from Carbondale, Illinois, sort of looping up to the Upper Peninsula there and then snaking our way across the country, hitting places like Ohio, Minnesota, um, Missouri, Oklahoma, and then it ends right here in our own backyard in Fort Collins. How fun. Okay, Amanda, for people not too familiar yes. with air races, how do they work? You know, uh, the air, this particular air race is um, set by like a benchmark. So we have uh, a handicap uh, test, so to speak, where we're given a benchmark uh, for air, our aircraft to optimize the most performance out of it. So we're going to be flying at uh, lower altitudes, higher altitudes, really trying to get uh, the best performance pending the wind, the weather. And so there are a lot of factors that goes into this entire race. Um, and again, you know, we're across the country, right. six to seven hours a day in this aircraft, uh, just uh, trying to beat the clock, you know, <laughs> the doing the best we can. <laughs> well, you know, this is awesome awareness for women in STEM, right? And of Absolutely. course, that is what you're trying to do here. What do you have to say to, you know, the young girls that, you know, would like to maybe one day grow up and be pilots or even the women, you know, that would like to try now? Sure. Mm -hmm. You know, um, for me as a, as a pilot, it can be really difficult to get your pilot's license. And I cannot stress enough how important it is to get involved in your local community. And uh, there's a lot of aviation organizations out there that are willing to support and help uh, you in your aviation journey. I agree. There are so many opportunities out there for, for not just women pilots, all pilots, um, but for women in, in particular, we have certain challenges that we face when we're, you know, learning how to fly, balancing families. You want uh, different career opportunities sure. that, um, that, you know, may, might be different than uh, traditional routes. And there are so many opportunities out there. So getting connected with others through organizations like the 99s, um, it really helps you kind of overcome those learning plateaus and find, you know, other women to connect with, other women to fly with and, and learn from. Um, and it really helps you push through those learning barriers. Like I today. love that. And really quickly, there's actually a chance to help you out today. The Blonde Bombers, as we mentioned, are going to be at Flight Co. today. Tell us a little about that. Yeah, we'll be there all day long. So Flight Co. is a sponsor for us, and they've, uh, they've been a huge um, supporter of us in so many ways. Um, they are uh, hosting tower tours at Flight Co. Tower. Um, so uh, at both of their locations, Flight Co. Tower and Flight Co. Brewing, they're doing buy one, get one free beer for pilots. All Perfect. Day long. So Love that. And enjoy, join us for that. And then join us for the tower tours. We have 12.30, 3.30, and 5.30 p.m. still available. You can take a tour of the old uh, historic Stapleton Tower, which is really cool. The views from up there are amazing. We'll be leading those all day long. So mm -hmm. um, it's definitely leg day. The perfect but, meetup. Us, I right? love this. Really quick. <laughs> Quickly, Amanda, where can people find more information about the Blonde Bombers? Right. So uh, please come and visit our website at uh, blondebombers.com. We have all uh, sorts of information as far as, you know, how we got our name, how Anna Elena and I met, information about the race, as well as uh, how to get your tickets for the tower tours today. I don't feel like I'm cool enough to be sitting next to y'all, but thank you very much <laughs> yeah, for spending no some time yeah. with us this morning. Thank you.